Hello, this is a review on the Permise 508 that you can see here, this mouse. My conclusion comes first, my conclusion is that I would not buy this mouse again. And having a tennis arm, I did not feel too much of a difference. It's definitely better, but I did not feel too much of a difference. And I would rather like to have my hand in this position. So this is one reason why I personally would not uh, buy this mouse again. Let's first compare the grip. This is a user mouse, this is the Permise. User mouse, Permise. User mouse, Permise. So you have about a 45 degree angle with your hand. I myself personally would rather like, like a straight up right mouse. Let's talk about the buttons. You have two buttons here for forward, backward, and you have four buttons here, the user mouse buttons and a DPI button. All buttons, including the mouse wheel, are pretty good to reach. Let's check out this. So this is good for the thumb. And you can see that you can usually, you can use the scroll mouse, the scroll wheel here. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to use the middle finger for the scroll wheel. Um, the DPI button is not too easy to reach, but you won't need it so often. It uh, switches between 1080 and 1000. For if you're using Linux, then that's pretty convenient because you don't, or you're not able to set the mouse sensitivity on with Linux so well. I'll check out the mouse. Regarding the handling in day-to-day -day use, like grabbing it, like is it ergonomic enough for the hand or clicking buttons? I don't feel anything weird here, so the buttons are pretty good. Um, it's it's easy to move around. It's very easy to get accustomed to it. It's it's like a little bit bigger if you're used to usual mice, but um, that's really no problem. So it's really good at this point. A feature that definitely needs improvement is the laser because it expands to the right. If you're compared to a usual mouse, this is a razor, it always goes in the front, okay? In my case, my room expands to the right, so whenever I lift the mouse up, the person sitting on the right side is going to be very annoyed by this light. Also, if you compare the, the highlight time, let's move the mouse, you see that it's going to dim the light very soon, and let's check it out here. You have a much longer time for dimming the light, which is usually no problem. But as this light expands to the right, it's a real problem. Um, if you want to compare it from the bottom, so this is how much I lift it up. This is how much you can see. Let's compare it to a razor. Okay. This especially can be annoying if you like do some adjustments with the mouse like this. If you just move your hand a little bit, then the whole room gets like lit up in the red light. Let's just try to use the mouse from a usual standpoint. Moving it around, clicking a little bit. Maybe from the top, moving it around, clicking a little bit. Maybe from the right, moving around, clicking a little bit. It's actually very nice handling. Okay, repeating the conclusion, I would not buy this mouse again and there are two main reasons. Reason number one is the laser. I really don't like the laser going to the side and annoys me and annoys others. And the second reason is I don't like the angle. I think the angle is not enough for me personally. I would rather have a 90 degree angle almost. And I don't feel, after using this mouse, I didn't feel an improvement in my arm actually. So there was really no reason to use this mouse. In fact, I ordered this mouse, it arrived and I tried it and I didn't feel any improvement, so I got back to using my old mouse with the left side, with the left hand side. It was much better. But this might be, or this is very much related to my health status. So if you're okay with the angle and you're okay with the laser, then probably that's a very good mouse for a very, very good price.